What is up, guys? My name is Sinai Fang, and I'm here with my boy, my son. And I'm Anna Udugamga, and I'm go. super happy to be here uh, oh, yeah, comment dude. commentating with you. This, uh, likewise, man. Like, th this venue is kind of OD. Anyway, we're, we're just jumping into it. We got the Buzz mm -hmm. versus Code Call. I'm not familiar with Code Call as a player in the NYC area. And look at that. Already the first yeah, time. So this is, I mean, you know what? I got faith that Cold Call can at least make somewhat of a statement. Mm -hmm. But you're, it's it's always a rough life, bro, when you're up against literally like a top 10 player round one. Like that, you got to hold that, bro. Like it, it has to be somebody though, so. And, you know, in this entire set so far, we just see Code Call just struggling to make space, you know, just sort of push the buzz off of him. I think, I think the double whammy here also is that you're playing against a character that not many players play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Olimar's hella good, but he's not exactly like a very popular character archetype, so you're not going to really see too many Olimars. Especially in New York City. Yeah, no, definitely not. not the only one I can think of is like MGW, and he doesn't even play mm -hmm. Olimar that much in bracket. You know, for sure it's an uncommon matchup. You're not going to really get the matchup experience. And then on top of that, you, you know, you're fighting the buzz. <laughs> yes, <yeah>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Off the bat, I think, I think Code Call has the Ooh. right idea plan. He's trying to Rebels guard the Pikmin. What he should be Rebels guarding them after they're already attached to him. The thing is, Sammy, uh, and I call him Sammy because boys, but I'm just kidding. Um, but the, the purple Pikmin don't attach. They just hit you. Yeah. See, one, and once he has the funny man, he also can just Tetrakarn, which has a giant crazy hitbox on it. But mm -hmm. uh, that was good. Yeah. Textbook stuff right there at that bear. He's going to want to go deep off stage with that back air yep. because that's going to be his one shot to, to take that stock from the buzz. And now you see, like, finally, like, uh, maybe three, two minutes into the match, we see Code Call just sort of finally able to... <laughs> <laughs> My man was like, all right, I'm going to get off the sledge and I'm going to play the video game. No. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the type of laugh you do when you're like, this guy's kicking my ass yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's just how it's going to be for, for my mans. But he took a stock, which is good. I, that was a nice, like, you know, I'll do the commentary trope, but that was, that was a nice backer he did off stage to take that one mm. stock. I think if he's slow, he's, I noticed he was getting caught off of dashing in a lot. Yep. Against characters with projectiles, I think walking is a super underrated strat. Mm -hmm. You can shield immediately because uh, you can't shield until your initial dash hits the, the second stride of your Foxtrot. Yep. And um, Alma is insignificant, like, stun if you were able to get a parry off while walking. You know, you'd be able to get a pretty significant punish out of that. Right. And I, yeah, I, right here is where he should be. Mm -hmm. But he's also oh passively God. accumulating the Rebel's Guard. I'm wondering, does Rebel's Guard, like, fill your meter faster than it would if you're just getting regularly damaged? I wonder. Um, mm. I'd, I'd have to assume so, right? The move has to exist for a reason other than just being a, a counter. It's any type of damage, yeah. I guess. So, and so when when the Pikmin are on him, he should be Nairing. I think Nair is a, is a great all-encompassing hitbox to get the Pikmin off of you. Yeah, for sure. It, 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 against Olimar, it's really just finding the counterplay, honestly. like This character is amazing, and he will explode you if you're you're not approaching carefully. But I think the most important thing for Code Call to do right now is gather data. Yeah. Oh, my god. That <laughs> almost that almost sealed off the stock. And I feel like um, the buzz is really winning most of these exchanges because Code Call is getting a little bit impatient. He's yeah, trying to really, sure. really break in. And, you know, the buzz is maybe one of the most fantastic defensive players around. You know, uh, so Code Call, really, if he is going to go in like that, he really needs to mix up his approach and moving forward a little bit. He's starting to play, like, a little more safely. He's using shield more yep. when the buzz is right in front of him because he's not trying to get uh, smash attacked. Um, oh my God, he has this is lethal, <laughs> bro. He's got three Moniques on deck, bro. Uh, that's my really my son, the buzz is at the booty club right now, bro. Oh, and he taunts. <laughs> as well, yeah. This is basically... It, if you, sad, 65. Have, have you seen the Lonely Island video? Uh, threw it on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> this, man is, this man is getting welcome to the real world jackass. Right? Oh mad hard right now. And, you know, he's buffering those ledge options immediately. You see that he's a little bit nervous. The buzz is definitely capitalizing off of it. And, wow. That's actually, that was a clinic, bro. How long was that? That was set? a clinic. Yeah. I, I think um, Code Call, yeah, just needs to really learn a little bit of counterplay. The Pikmin management yep. by the buzz was immaculate. Phenomenal. My man had steroids on deck at all times. Like, he was using the right Pikmin for the right situation, like, super consistently. So, yeah, it's just... It, it just really comes mm -hmm. down to a little bit of counterplay like yeah. at, at that when there's this, such a level of disparity of play you need to be focusing on what information you can gleam 
Yep. Uh, so I hope Code Call goes comes away from this set knowing a little bit more about Olimar matchup. Uh, hopefully watches this VOD and knows a little bit about how to counterplay Olimar a little bit. 